Hi guys, it's the Blue Shift One here. Um, I'm here to show you my minecart travel system. Uh, here is a completely automated uh, collection as well as travel. Um, so um, it's completely closed. Here's my main, or pretty much my main station that's right next to the base that I use the most. Um, it's got four stations currently, two end and two in the middle. Um, this is a double rail system, kind of meant for like a multiplayer type deal where you can have people going this way and that way. Um, it's meant to kind of be like the road where if you're the right hand side, you're going that way. So over here you're going this way and over here going this way and it runs on a full loop around the, the system. Um, it's got uh, basically a call to get your cart. There's buttons on each side of each of these panels. Um, I guess I'm going to show you the sand, so we'll click here. Um, you'll notice the cart falls. Um, same way for this side, it drops out of that hole. Um, so when you jump in it, press the button, and you go. Uh, if you notice that little thing back there, that is the uh, the empty cart check. Um, I do have all at all of my stations basically a little check to see if they, if you accidentally set off an empty cart. Um, it also me is meant as like a cart grabber once you get out. Um, so that's what that's there for. Um, like I said, it's on both sides uh, at each station. Um, so that's for empty carts. Um, and if you notice, this is a completely enclosed system. Um, so no cows can jump on and block your path, knock you off, not knock the cart or stop the cart, um, which is nice. Um, this is one of my longer runs. So you see, there's quite a few little boosters periodically to make sure you're, that you keep going. Um, see uh, it's a pretty uh, it takes a lot of resources to build a system quite this big and make it fully enclosed like this is a lot of glass um, hence why the place that we're going called the sands is the start of the nearest desert uh, so I could acquire a whole lot of glass because I'm playing in single-player survival mode right now um, so this is this is the station here at the end if you notice almost only single-sided uh, basically what you do, you get out of your cart like you normally would, you step on a pressure plate and it catches the empty cart and sends it to the top. I used a Pez dispenser type system that's modified. Uh, I made some personal modifications I like. Uh, it's pretty similar on the single system. However, on the double cart, uh, where basically my double si uh, station that can go either way has only a single dispenser um, that segregates the two different directions. Um, after you press the button so that is um, how I did that this is what the what it looks like um, kind of behind the scenes uh, first we'll go down here this is the the uh, empty cart uh, basically what happens is that there's a detector rail right above right here um, and this is the turn um, which I'll walk back up and show you what that means but here's the wiring for the empty cart detection um, of course you don't need that but it's mainly these two redstone torches and this setup um, basically what it is to detect an empty cart it has to be at a 45 degree angle which is why there's this bump here um, what happens is that the detector rail only detects an empty cart if it's on the an angle if it's flat an empty cart will still show a detection over here um, or not over there but in the system so if it's flat it won't work right it has to be at this angle um, basically the other redstone torch is right here and we'll turn this the other way um, so that it, the card actually goes straight um, you really you have to really work on understanding how what the turns mean um, in terms of different, different setups but that's just some trial and error and figuring out what that is but that's how that works I also have overflow. I can't have handle infinite overflow, but I put this little glass panel in right here to show when I'm having cards starting to overflow, and I can remedy the system. Um, basically, what happens is, is if they can't work out, um, if they start backing up back down up here, they'll flow back down here instead of rolling back into the main system. They actually roll back here. However, MD cards flowing this way will actually continue straight on and up this path right here um, which goes all the way up all the way up and into the Pez dispenser right so back down here um, 
here's the stack of cards that are currently in the system. Um, what I actually used is a piston and the call for card button actually pushes the piston over and down a hole which drops straight onto the track. Uh, that means your carts have to be aligned with the track, um, that's pretty important. Um, so that pushes down in and drops down right onto the track system. Um, I have this nice little glass panels right here to show me how many carts if I walk up here and I want to see. Um, so it's kind of your basic single line, simple as can be. Um, however, my double cart system, um, which I run in and start going over, um, is a little bit more complicated. Uh, oh, look at the little octopus. All right. Um, and that sheet right there is while I have this enclosed because they'll jump up on the track and stop you. Uh, the double cart system is a little bit more complicated if you want to run the single dispenser. Um, you could, of course, very simply run two of the simple single ones for each side, but uh, I just found an issue with that just because one side might load up while the other side has no carts in it. And it was just a better system to have one tall single column Pez dispenser for the carts. Um, it's just a personal choice, and I thought it was the better choice. Uh, it doesn't mean you have to make your, in my opinion, to make your building taller. Uh, just because you want to have more carts in it if you're going both ways. Uh, in case for like a multiplayer system where you actually have more people using a double station than a single station. Uh, so we're coming back up onto my main base, the uh, Sandstone Fortress. Uh, so here, right here, is my station. You notice know, it's significantly taller. Um, I get out hop off on the things oh well that's just it is occasionally glitchy of what it wants to be um, but usually it's pretty good there we go back down the tower um, really I mean, occasionally happens but it just occasionally just glitches um, here you notice the system's taller um, there's a little more complications um, however the essence is the same um, basically you have your two underground systems that are coming up. Um, that's going to be here's your overflow. Um, this is coming from the far side. This is the near side, um, and then a long ramp up. Um, and this is your overflow. If you notice, that's the primary route. Um, that's not deflected. Um, so that's your basic overflow. Um, once you go up, um, it's a really tall ramp. Like I said because I want to make it as big as possible. Um, I guess I could make it even bigger, but this is this is more than enough. Um, so it drops all the carts into there. Uh, let's see what else. Um, all right, so basically how the system works. Um, here's the two buttons. Um, one is routed straight to a single piston. Um, there's only a single piston pushing carts here, um, and the other one is aligned with the piston. However, it also has a flip route that's really similar to the single cart collection. Um, it's actually the same wiring um, except for instead of a detector rail it's just a push button. Um, and what that does is if, if carts are pushed out of here um, basically since they're moving this way they have this kind of form of momentum when they hit the booster rail they go this way. Alright so they're going to be going traveling this way and this will if, um, if that far button is pushed right there It'll run up here. This works as a diode, so the the uh, power doesn't go this way. It only travels down this rail and hits this. So it it basically pushes the card onto here. For momentum, pushes it and just continues around the loop, and then down that hole. If the, this push button is pushed, then you basically have it flipping this, pointing that way, which causes the card to go straight down this rail and continue down here and drop down this hole. Um, so that's a little more complicated. You have to be a little bit further off the ground to be able to do this type of wiring. Um, that's why everything's kind of elevated. Um, but so it's a pretty neat um, thing. I'll do. I want to do individual tutorials for each of these components. I'll probably do some of the basics and then do a um, then do for the single and the double, uh, just to show you how they differ. Um, it's only minutely different, but it still is different. Um, 
that's basically how it's going to work. Um, I hope this is instructive, at least in working on your own ideas for your own systems. Um, all right, so uh, have a nice day.